I love taking a meal on the road, and a picnic is a great way to move a feast. There's something about it which is quite enchanting. It's kind of like an impressionist painting, you know, a beautiful uh, Surratt or a Monet where people are reclining by uh, a riverbank enjoying a meal. Today we're going to make two specialty sandwiches that we're going to take to a picnic. I've already done a couple of salads. They're chilling in the fridge. I've got some great beverages. But these sandwiches are going to be the toast of this picnic. This is a beautiful focaccia bread, and it's studded with uh, sorted peppers and also some grilled eggplant. And I simply begin by cutting into the bread, and I'm going to cut it in half so that it creates two equally attractive, look at this, ta-da, halves. Now you can pick a little bit of this out if you want to remove some of the insides of the bread to make a lighter sandwich. First thing is to add pesto. And this is a, a very lovely pesto that I, I prepared using uh, some basil from the garden and also some pine nuts, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So begin by spreading the pesto. Um, I'm, a, I'm liberally spreading it, so as you can see, I like a lot of pesto on the sandwich. The color is really, really nice. Make sure that the pesto is evenly distributed all the way across the bread. And that's the first thing done. Next comes some grilled ingredients. And I think I forgot to mention this is a vegetarian treat. So anyone who you invite as a vegetarian will definitely enjoy a slice of this beautiful sandwich. Fresh spinach, make sure it's thoroughly rinsed. Uh, spinach has a tendency to get quite sandy or gritty. Rinse it very, very well and then begin by layering the spinach on the bottom half of the bread. And you'll also notice that I've got a little bit of the spinach hanging off the sides of the bread. Let me move this cheese out of here because I'm not going to need it yet. But I like to have the spinach kind of hanging off of the sides. It makes for a very attractive presentation. Okay, next is... These beautiful grilled red peppers, they have been uh, soaked in oil. And after grilling them, I simply peeled off all of the barbecued parts of it. They kind of go brown when you grill them. So I've taken all of that off, and now I'm simply opening them up and layering them on the sandwich. You immediately notice, of course, good color combination, red and green. It's looking really nice. So on go the peppers, and the next part of the sandwich is complete. Let's go to a more even-toned colored eggplant. So this is kind of a, a pale eggplant. I've sliced the eggplant, grilled it, and then I again uh, put it in some beautiful garlic and a little bit of olive oil. This is creating a really nice aroma. My mouth is watering and it's going to be a great sandwich. I love this. Eggplant is now the next ingredient that's on. Grilled zucchini is another vegetable, and you can get creative with different vegetables. You could use yellow peppers, green peppers. This zucchini is lovely. Love the eggplant. How about some artichoke? You could put on a little bit of kohlrabi. You could do all kinds of things, anything you want. So the zucchini goes on. Isn't this looking great? Next ingredient is sliced mozzarella. This is actually uh, a beautiful mozzarella cheese. I've pre-sliced it and now I'm just putting pieces of the mozzarella, again layering them on the sandwich in an attractive fashion. Um, ultimately, the, the thing that you want, you want to do is to be able to get a little bit of every vegetable or ingredient in each slice. So I'd say that this sandwich is looking good. One more thing. Get, indulge me on this. Let me still do a little bit more. I'm going to put a couple of sprigs of fresh basil on this sandwich. How lovely. Okay, put the top on, seal it up, wrap it up, and take it to the picnic. Oh, just one last thing. I'll cut this into sixes and serve pie-shaped wedges once we get to the picnic. You want to see another one? Coming right up. We all live in a yellow submarine. Actually, no, we just love to eat submarine sandwiches. And same thing, similar to the mufalada, we're going to start this sandwich off, slicing it right down the middle. <laughs> Careful, it's a sharp knife, but a little bit of practice, you're doing a great job. Ta -la 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 -la. Open it up, and you start. First ingredient is going to be this cheese. I have two cheeses. One is a smoked Gouda, and I'm going to lay this on. Try to lay the cheese in different directions. It creates a really nice pattern on the sandwich. Next ingredient is the lettuce, and I'm using a nice oak leaf. And notice again, just similar to the mufalada, I'm letting it kind of hang off the sides of the sandwich. It's very attractive and makes me awfully hungry. 
after the lettuce, we're on to meat. And I've selected three different luncheon meats, which will be perfect for the sandwich. The first is a lovely smoked capicola. And this is slightly spicy, so it's gonna give our sandwich a bit of a bite. The second meat is a pimento veal loaf. And I really love the taste of this specialty luncheon meat. It's very light in flavor, and it just has a very soft and flavorful taste that really adds a nice texture to the sandwich. Notice as well that I'm layering the meats so that they, again, take on different shapes. It creates a really nice look on the sandwich. The final meat is a roasted turkey, and it also is very attractive. Kind of play with it a little bit, again, creating different shapes when the meats are laid on top of each other. How about we go for something red now, beautiful vine tomatoes, and they as well go right on top of our layer of meats. Now, notice that the height of the sandwich is growing. Each ingredient we add adds yet another, uh, a practically an inch of, of height to our sandwich. But I've got a special trick that I'll share with you in a few moments just to make sure that the sandwich stays together. Tomatoes are on, now we need a condiment complement, and I like to use Pomery mustard for a submarine. And notice again that I'm applying this quite liberally along the bread of the sandwich. Another thing about using condiments is that you can carry extra condiments along if you want to bring a mayonnaise or if you'd like to bring a horseradish or some other flavor with you. Simply place it in a small container and then you can also take it along on your picnic. The condiments easily spread, and now the top goes on, and this looks great. You want to know how to keep it together? Take a cocktail toothpick, place an olive on it, place a pickled onion, and put a gherkin on it. Next thing you know, you stick it in your sandwich, and the whole thing stays together.